Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Guess what time it is? It's that time when you're a day late and an algo short. Oh my! This is yesterday's Algorand News. If you're on Twitter, hit hashtag Algo News. I could find you because I am at Real Monty Allen all over Twitter. And I am your crypto nerd. And as usual, on a Monday morning, we have a ton to get through and a short time to get there. My YouTube analytics tell me that you don't like paying attention after about eight minutes, but I'll be damned if I can get through all this news in eight minutes. It's just too much. Monty, lay it on us. So, first up, Fortior, Fortior, <laughs> Fortior Blockchain, aka ChoiceCoin, they've got this AI. Algamy AI predicts Algo is headed back over two dollars this month. Hashtag Algamy. Algo my? Is it Algo my or Algo me? Somebody's gonna have to tell me. Twitter doesn't have like you know voice pronunciations. All right, so this is the first I've seen this though. So Algamy predicts Algo price. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this because um, their AI for choice is probably pretty good based on some of their other. Um, projects and and how they've rolled out the choice coin so i want to keep watching this and see what comes of it now ai stuff is not new by any means but i've been hesitant to look at it on any i don't know consistent basis and so it really like i'm, I'm just going to keep an eye on this i'm not basing my trading on this i'm not and i don't do a whole lot of trading anyway i'm not really a day trader i'm a holder hodler but I am interested in this. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. I, I just think it's cool that they've got an AI. And I like good news. I don't do price predictions on this channel. But I'll report on other people who do price predictions. So the Choice Coin folks say that Algo's going back over 2 bucks. That's, uh, that's good news if it's true. All right. Next up, something fun. So the Ancient Scrolls of Aug. Now we see a lot of Algo things. And we see like the Al Space Goanas. Um, this is where they just left off the O though. We don't see a whole lot of that. Um, anyway, this is, uh, this is cool. They've got some kind of like mysterious, I don't know where the choice coin or this, this, this coin of unknown origin came from. Where did it come from? Where did it begin? I don't know. I feel like, uh, Kokomo Joe or whatever that song is. Where do we come from? Where do we go? I don't know. Maybe, maybe that was, uh, at the beginning of Algodelia and the Algo Dials. We'll see. Speaking of exchanges, Vibrant Exchange says that they are in stealth mode still. They are a Bordas financial super app built on Algorand. I am following them. They like are sporadic in their tweets, right? So they got something from January talking about fiat ramps. Ramps, man, I can't pronounce anything today. Happy Monday, um, and and they've got Vibrant Exchange August twenty first. So they went from January sixteenth to August 21st without any real activity here. And then they just retweeted a few things, um, you know, back in September. And that's about it. They do have a website open and it says they're in stealth mode. It's a Canva design. It's, it looks, it looks good. I mean, it's, uh, it's all right. It's, uh, it's vibrant, <laughs> right? So it's a, it's vibrant exchange. Um, they've got a, a vibrant exchange, vibrant money, vibrant finance. So they're in stealth mode. If you go check out their telegram group, it's relatively quiet. I joined it. There's like a hundred and some odd people. Um, they are looking for positions. They've got some open positions open. Speaking of which, uh, would the community be interested in a job board, um, on CryptoNerd.com. I feel like there is a shortage. In fact, there must be because one of the things that we're going to talk about is um, an outreach program. We'll get to that here in just a second. Um, also, Prismatic. So, um, you know, Michael Algo family found this. Prismatic aims to become a, le a leading decentralized asset management protocol, leveraging unique capabilities of the Algorand blockchain. I'm not exactly sure. A lot of these companies, when they first put out their their you know their mission statement or their descriptions, they they use a lot of terminology that could be taken a lot of different ways, right? They aim to do something, so they're become a leading decentralized asset management. So are they going to be like a Charles Schwab or a Fidelity, where they're they're gonna manage like a you know my 401k? It's decentralized, so it's self-directed. Um, Protocol leveraging the unique capabilities of the Algorand blockchain. Well, what are the unique capabilities of the Algorand blockchain? Smart contracts? 
Um, I don't know. I mean, I, what are, what are de- what are decentralized assets? I mean, are we talking about NFTs? I, I don't know exactly what they're looking at here. We'll, we'll check them out though. All right, Tiny Man news. So we're talking about all kinds of marketplaces today. Tiny Man, well, my Tiny Man won't load. Come on, Tiny Pools. All right, well, there we go. There we go. So let's go to the analytics and let's see where we're at. So total liquidity, 3.75 million in fiat. Volume, 5.6 million in the last 24 hours. Uh, The algo price is down, um, but the volume on Tiny Man is up significantly. And I've seen nothing but good news come through um, regarding the liquidity situation. Oh, look at headline down here. Headline made headlines. Right, because they're not exactly sure what's going on with their token. It doesn't have a use case, but I think that's just CYA um, action. I think that they are covering themselves to make sure that they didn't get in trouble for selling a security. Um, I think this is basically a loyalty token. You've got to have some of these headlines to um, access some features, uh, but it's not really meant to be value. If you own headline, you're not owning part of the company. It's not supposed to be a thing of value, really, but this is DeFi, so you can put whatever you want to on Tiny Man. So I think headline just wants to make sure that they didn't distribute a security, um, which I don't think it is. All right. Yieldly has integrated now um, Wallet Connect with the official Algorand wallet. That's good because more users, more activity. If you can access this, if you were only an Algorand wallet user before, you might have found it difficult to get onto Yieldly, right? So now more wallets, more action, more staking. We can see what's going on here. So let's hit refresh here. So there are three staking pools currently, and there's some NFT games that are coming up, I think, in the next uh, two days, right? Um, 32% in the Yieldly for Yieldly Algo pool, 28% in the Yieldly for Opulus pool, 21% for the Yieldly to Smile pool, 49 days on the Smile pool, 76 days on the Opulus pool. Um, Obviously, the Yieldly pool is continuing to go. 1.5, really relatively small pool here for Opulus and Smile. Um, I think that more people will jump in the Opulus game here, especially now that Opulus has some liquidity and Tiny Man. I mean, we saw some price fluctuation, but 76 days at 28% APY, plus the added um, benefit that Opulus continues to do new things, and they have put out their projects on uh, Republic, which is going to bring a new fiat. I like the Opulus pool. So go pull your money out of the Yieldly. Pull it out. Put it in Opulus. No, not financial advice. Just go do what you want. Take a look for yourself. Um, there are some NFT prize games that are coming up. Um, I really kind of want this Algoana. So let's see what happens there. One day, 10 hours left before that happens. All right, another deadline, Algorand governance. So we're a little over 50,000 governors here. You have three days, just over three days to get your governance in. Are we gonna see the mass pullout and the, the, the rush at the end? I think that we are, but I don't know for sure. We're at 50,000 right now. We'll keep track of this all week. All right. Algorand Foundation has centers for excellence. Remember I told you earlier where there was, you know, jobs. There's not enough developers to go around. Well, Algorand Foundation has recognized this, and they put together this ACE program, Algorand Centers of Excellence to target university students because we want to get them indoctrinated into the blockchain world early so they can be, you know, blockchain natives. They, They hit the market. Market and they, they run, they got jobs right as soon as they graduate. So if you are in um, university somewhere in the world right now, you can take advantage of this. There's a couple of webinars that are happening this week. Uh, so Wednesday, October 13th is the first one. Uh, I'm excited for this. Uh, I shoot, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna follow this. Look, we got some really strong folks here who are who are giving an introduction here um, as far as what the program is, and I'm excited for this. Now this is a long term play, obviously. Algorand is looking for the future. So if we have people who are ready to to hit the job market in two or three years, when all of these other dApps start to come to fruition, these things take a long time, right? All of these accelerators, all of these growth projects, it's going to be several years before they all come to fruition. We want them to come to fruition now, but it's going to be a little while. All right, NFTs. Whew. So much going on. Man, Monty. All right, so what happened in NFTs this week? Well, you know what? Um, a whole boatload of, of NFTs changed hands. I mean, take a look at this. So Yielding still leads the way with the seven-day volume. 
Algawana right behind them. Algobot's hanging strong. Um, we've got some we got some new players. Look at Mafia Algo. That that pro that project came out of nowhere. Look, jumped into the number eight spot. Last week they weren't even in existence. Um, Algo Sands, which is the Algo House, which Silvio changed his PFP to, like strong moves. I'm surprised this is only 12. In fact, if he had produced more work, I think that he would be much higher up. Or if he did like two of twos, or you know, some kind of like a, some more duplicates or something along those lines. I think his um, his uh, what's that new one? The new Gorilla Ape art is um, is looking pretty strong. I still like the the original ones he did. You know, the Dragon Ball Z style. Anyway, Algo Whales are also up there, um, and uh, we got a couple of these Penguin projects. Alien Pride Art, my guy over at Alien Pride Art, who does all of the um, Algo Gang originals. Um, that's also uh, uh, he's also hanging in there pretty strong. But anyway, l look at the the overall volume, sales volume for top twenty jumped to one point eight million Algo from 732 algo two weeks ago that is a huge jump in how much is being spent in nfts and i continue to know people who have most of their crypto wealth now tied up into nfts i don't know if that's good or bad but maybe we need um you know some kind of a decentralized asset management or some way to borrow against your nfts that would be cool all right kin foundation does anybody know anything kin foundation it's like this Shh, kin kin foundation's coming I don't know what's going on with the Kin Foundation. People have asked me, hey, crypto, what's going on with the Kin Foundation? I have no idea. I tried to Google search them. I tried to reverse image search. I tried to look on LinkedIn. I tried to look on um, uh, places they are incorporated. I tried to follow some some IP stuff. Uh, like, I, I've got nothing, people. If you know anything about the Kin Foundation, feel free to lay it on me. But these people know how to do some stealth work. Um, so, there you have it. That's what I got for today. I went way over my eight minutes. That's all right. Crypto nerd out. Follow us. We got cool stuff going on this week.